Dang it, man. Everybody in this city gets to enjoy their time off except for us. We're always working. Always in a dang hurry. Don't complain, my friend. We have good times, too. man who could have done this more like what could have done this this isn't human behavior who discovered this body a man and his girlfriend they say that they are the victim's best friends <laughs> what happened Well, Eric's our friend. We seldom spend a day apart from each other. But, uh, when we didn't hear from him for a couple of days and he answered our calls, uh, we came to see if something was wrong. How did you get in? We, we found the door open, so we came in and uh, we found him. Oh my god, this is horrible. Looks like a romantic date was here. When was the last time you saw him? Uh, let me think. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Four days ago at the beach. You were there? Yes. Uh, actually, Eric's a photographer. He worked at the beach taking photos and sometimes would hang with him to have fun. Oh yeah. Now I remember. That day, he, he met a woman. Some hot chick who was sunbathing. He left us and went to talk to her. And what happened then? Well, he took some photos of her. Then we saw them walk to a little snack stand to have a drink. Then we left and that was the last time I saw him. If he took the photos, they should be here now. David, call the crime scene investigation team and tell them to get here immediately. I want every piece of evidence in this place, every fingerprint, and all those photos in that room. I want everything. We still need to talk to you about this case, so don't leave town. Core um, of the city of St. Paul, we have so many good people that live in this city. And having grown up in the city and still living in the city, I understand the fabrics of... Mr. Smith, what's your comment about this inhumane bloody murder? We're just getting started on this case, so there's nothing to tell you. As we can see, there's a big mystery, and in this reporter's opinion, it's still too early for a solution. However, it seems that the police investigations know something that may help in solving this case, where a brutal murder took place here and discovered this morning. A 32-year-old photographer named Eric Anderson was killed in a very inhumane way, as if he was attacked by a monster. The police say that the victim's heart was plucked out from the body along with the eyes, lips, and genitals. That makes us wonder about the nature of the killer and what were the reasons for such a bloody homicide. Reporting from here in Huntington Beach, California, I'm Helen Foster, NSPN News. No, no, it wasn't her either. What makes you so sure? You said the woman was far from where you were standing. She was blonde in a black bikini. None of these photos show a blonde in a black bikini. That makes sense, but that was all the photos. Nothing else? Nope. This, this is strange. Maybe he didn't develop that film. Negative. There were no undeveloped photos found there. Here's some more photos we found there. Seems to be the last photos that he had developed. That's it! What? These photos. They seem to have been taken the same day. You're right. I remember this couple in the background because they were arguing the whole day. That's right. These are the photos. But where's the lady? 
Seems like your friend wasn't taking her photos. Or maybe that chick is invisible. <laughs> That's funny. I want you to show me this little snack stand on the beach. 